okay guys so for the last couple of days there have been this you know so many thoughts around this indefinite leave to remain that's talking about uk ilr okay so on today's video i'm going to discuss some of these things if you have been here in the uk or probably you have been planning to come over to the uk to settle or maybe this is still already on your skilled workers visa route okay and you're kind of wondering you've been wondering how long am i going to live in the uk as a resident before i finally get settled like am i eligible to apply for this uk indefinite leave to remain how long am i going to live in the uk for me to be eligible to apply guys if this is you i think the best thing that you have to do now is just for you to draw closer yeah draw closer watch this video to the end do not skip any bit of this video trust me you will enjoy everything about this video <laughs> Some persons have been asking so many questions about it does it mean that it's been reduced to three years is this the five years is this the 10 years you know there have been so many things going around this particular visa type okay so on today's video i'm going to read directly from the uk website that's the uk government website so that we'll see the news exactly how it is yeah we are going to read it out exactly how it is as at today today is the fifth of february 2024 okay so you get to know what the uk government is saying about all this is this still going to be five years or has it been reduced to three years these and many more are exactly what we are going to discuss on today's video so stay tuned see you soon <laughs> Don't play with it, don't be welcome back to my channel. My name is Blessing and Moses of Blessed Blessing Channel. Okay, so on this channel, I film content on how you can migrate to the UK, live generally in the UK. Any good thing that has to do with the UK, those are the informations that I share on this channel. So if this sounds very interesting to you guys, do not go anywhere. Watch this video to the end and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already. Okay, if you are just coming across my video for the first time, guys, consider sticking around with us. Trust us you will always enjoy the update that we bring on this channel okay also do not forget to turn on your your notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload new videos my returning subscribers thank you guys for coming back to watch my videos i sincerely appreciate you guys those of you that have been following me on my other social media platforms yeah thank you i sincerely appreciate you also and do not forget that we have a new telegram group the link to that telegram group is on the description box of this video if you want to join us you are always welcome to do so okay so with that wasting much of your time let's just quickly go into it okay this is the information day as of today the 5th of february 2024 okay so as you can see on the screen indefinite leave to remain is how you settled in the uk it's also called settlement visa okay it gives you the right to leave work and study here for as long as you like and apply for benefits if you are eligible you can use it to apply for british citizenship okay there are three different ways to apply for indefinite leave to remain yeah based on your circumstances okay if you want to work in the uk or if you work in the uk you may be able to apply if you have a work visa you must usually have lived and worked in the uk for five years if you have a tier one visa, it can be two or three years. If you have an innovator founder or global talent visa, it can be three years. Okay. You may also need to meet the salary or financial requirements. This depends on your visa. So if you read further, you will see a link there. If you have a tier two or skilled workers visa. Okay. If you have a scale up worker visa if you have a global talent visa if you have an innovator founder visa you know there are different types of visa categories that are there okay so if you want to click on any one okay let's just go with the first one because we have we know that so many of us here are in the uk on a skilled worker visa okay it could be normal skilled worker visa okay it can also be you know care worker visa depending on the one that you have but they are always the same they are similarly to each other okay so if you click on it you see something like this you may be able to settle permanently in the uk if you have one of the following visas okay skilled workers visa general visa okay so there are two minister of religion visa okay they just brought them out yeah then let's just quickly go to the eligibility first you must have lived in the uk for five years there are rules for what counts towards your time in the UK. Let's click on it and see what counts towards your time in the UK. It said, you must live in the UK for five years before you can apply for indefinite leave to remain. There are rules for what counts towards these five years. One, if you have spent 
time outside the uk or if you have had more than one visa if you have spent time in the uk you must have spent no more than 180 days outside the uk in any 12 months okay if you think you are affected by this rule the home office has guidance about how to calculate your times out in the uk okay why i am actually bringing out this today is because there have been so many speculations regarding this indefinite leave to remain so i was actually in a conversation with someone and the person came to me and was like oh i'm so happy i was like why are you so excited he said that he just found out that he's eligible or he would be eligible for for you know for indefinite leave to remain in two years time i was like ah how possible is that because i know you came in last year okay so he said ah blessing have you not heard that this indefinite leave to remain has been reduced to three years i was like oh three years why do you think so he forwarded a video to me it was then that i now discovered that there have been a video that has been trending regarding this there is a video that is trending guys if you have watched this video you can actually leave your thoughts on the comment section okay but when i watched this video i was like oh where are all these informations coming from so i quickly went to do my research okay guys that's another thing talking about research please as i will always tell you on this channel try as much as possible to find out things yourself don't rely on okay i heard or this youtuber said you know Try to verify the source of these informations, okay? And you that you are passing out fake informations to people, I don't think that's actually a good way of, you know, growing your channel or something. Because you discover that at the end of the day, you get some people, so many people will run into trouble because of these, these informations that you pass to them okay because some people actually rely independently on us talking about we youtubers okay once they hear about this if they are glued to your channel i think the first thing they will do is just for them to quickly go to your channel to see if you have published it okay and once you have published it they will not even go further doing their own research they will just conclude oh since it's on this person's channel i think that is just it okay but guys i tell you this please try to always do your own research okay even most of the videos that i publish here i will still urge you to go out out and do your own personal research you have google google is free okay even if you cannot access this uk government website because you find out that the information there can be you know it's kind of cumbersome yeah especially when you don't really know where to go on the website so you can actually ask google google will bring all these things out for you okay google will even bring it out like to the particular link that will lead you to to where that information is on uk government website okay and once it's published on that uk government website i think that is final because i believe all the informations there are 100 percent true so guys mind where you receive your information from yeah mind the source of your information because when i watched this video i was like oh my god why will somebody just sit down and make out this because i was wondering where is this information coming from and if you check that video i don't think there was any source of information the person just went on you know and was just trying to you know just to justify why he feels or why this information is there okay without putting out the very source of the information okay the more reason why i told you that you should mind people that you're listening to mind the channels that you go to get your informations even on this my channel any information that i publish there try as much as possible to do your own personal research okay because i may publish something based on my own view like the way i'm looking at it from okay but if you don't go ahead to do your own research you may misunderstand the whole thing and at the end of the day you may end up running into trouble okay imagine this person i got to know because he said that his own is just that he'll be eligible in two years time what about people that already spent that three years already okay and they are now or they goes ahead to apply for indefinite leave to to remain and at the end of the day they are being issued a ban or you know refusal or something guys this indefinite leave to remain the application fee for it is 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 much i'm telling you, it's over a thousand pounds okay imagine someone going ahead to apply and at the end of the day the person gets back you know a, a refusal just because of the information that you passed out to the person. How would you feel? Okay, so my people, I'm here today letting you guys know that as at today, the 5th February 2024, the UK indefinite leave to remain remains five years for skilled worker road like people that have stayed here that have been working in the uk for complete five years is still five years so the three years that is even coming into the picture is for just like i read out is actually for people that are here or people that are coming here on global talent visa or innovator founder visa okay so it's 
a different truth entirely it's not skilled workers visa and if you bring out 100 people you find out that like maybe like three or or let's say 10 people out of the 100 are even going for that innovator founder visa or ta uh, global talent visa okay so the rest are definitely going for skilled workers visa that's to say that we have much people doing skilled workers visa compared to people that are doing those or that so that is like two years three years like they said okay but you generalizing it saying that uk has come out to reduce the the number of years that you have to stay in the uk to three years before you are eligible to apply for this i think that is not fair enough because as it stands now except if the person will just come out and say okay this is where i got this information from but if not guys i stand to correct that okay because like I just read out, you know that before coming out to do this, I think I've done so many research. I've googled, I've checked Google, Google Scholar, I've done everything on this UK government site, everywhere. Guys, I did not see where they said uh, three years old. I'm telling you, I did not see where they said that you have to be in the UK for three years or that UK government just come out to, to reduce the number of years, okay? It's been five years and it is still five years, okay? So... I don't want to overflow this, but I, I believe that most of you here that are watching me today, I believe that some of you would have actually done your research also. And obviously, you must have even come out to, you know, get to know that it is not correct. Now, that information is not correct. So, please mind where you get your information from and mind the people that you're listening to. Yeah. And again, you that you are coming out to tell people this, knowing fully well that that is not how it is. You know, I don't know the pleasure that you derive seeing people getting refusals after they have applied because we have so many people that have been in the UK for three years. I tell you, guys, another thing is this. You know, there's another route, which is 10 years route. Like you have been in the UK continuously for the past 10 years. Probably you came in as a student on a student visa and maybe you spent like four or five years there you now went to maybe global talent visa and then just like that and maybe in the last two years you switch to skilled worker visa so if you combine everything you have spent up to 10 years in the uk you are eligible to apply okay that is another thing entirely okay that's say that we have 10 years road that's when you have stayed in the uk generally for up to 10 years we have five years road when you have worked in the uk you are on a work visa for five years then we have three years or two years road that's talking about when you're on tier one visa when you're on global talent visa when you're on even a vector founder visa okay so that is when you have to stay for like three two years 32 years before you are eligible to apply okay but for skilled workers visa guys it's still five years you know one thing about this uk government is this if they are planning to change anything they will have to sit and deliberate on it even before they brought out these new rules you discover that there have been this rumor somehow somehow you must have heard it they will not just come and say oh that is it they have changed it they are just you know they are they are just going to adjust it without coming to talk about it without coming to give prior notice to people letting them know that okay from effect from social and so did we are going to do this you understand so i don't know <laughs> where all these are coming from you just think that they will just wake up one morning and just decide that oh they have implemented it they are just going to increase or to reduce the number of years that people will stay without coming to make it public okay or even house of commons coming to deliberate on it we did not hear anything about that all the deliberations that we've been hearing has been always on the new rules ihs fee and all that nobody has heard about you know them coming to deliberate on this ilr i've not heard anything about that so guys that is it for today's video please do well to share this video and if you earn value from this video do not forget to give some thumbs up yeah share this video to your friends your family people that you think may benefit from it okay so many people will get to know about this to know the actual thing like the way it is thank you again for watching and i remain blessing a muslim of blessed blessing channels thank you bye